While the world's population is projected to grow by 32% in the coming decades, the number of Muslims is expected to increase by 70%, from 1.8 billion in the year 2015 to nearly 3 billion in the year 2060. In the year 2015, Muslims made up 24.1% of the global population. And then 45 years later, they're expected to make up more than 3 in 10 of the world's population. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode here on FTD Facts. I'm your host, Leroy Kenton. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at 10 people who left Christianity and entered into the religion of Islam. People converting to Islam like this, as well as birth rates, of course, has contributed to Islam becoming the fastest growing religion in the entire world. Starting at number 10, we have Amina Asilmi. Formerly a Southern Baptist preacher, she converted to Islam in the year 1977 in college while trying to convert some Muslims to Christianity. As the director of the International Union of Muslim Women, she visited campuses discussing Islam. She was made one of the 500 most influential Muslims in the world in 2009 by the Royal Islamic Strategic Study Center in Amman, Jordan. Coming in at the number nine spot, we have Lady Evelyn Murray. She confirmed her conversion to Islam back in the year 1915. Yeah, way back in the day. And she took on the Arabic name Zainab. She remarked that she considered Islam the religion most calculated to solve the world's many perplexing problems and to bring humanity peace. Next up at number eight, we have Jamie Fletcher. Jamie Mujahid Flesher is a filmmaker and a member of the National Association of Latino Independent Producers, or the NALIP. He is the owner and CEO of the advertising agency Focus Point Studios, and he was a former Catholic Christian. He studied Christianity as well as Hinduism, and he also studied Buddhism, and one of the religions that he studied was Islam. And he converted to Islam at a Muslim convention in Florida. He is a youth advocate and the founder of the Andalusia Media Arts Center. As a public speaker, he has covered topics about Latinos, youth, Islam, film, and media. And he's done this at many different institutions. Coming in at number seven, we have Shah Shahidullah Faridi. He embraced Islam after reading the Kashf al Majub, which is the unveiling of the veiled. And this is the classical treatise of Sufism written by Ali ibn Uthman al Hujriri. Despite being born and raised in a wealthy English family, well, he decided to leave and seek sheikhs, Sufi sheikhs. And when he found a couple of them, that's when he decided to pledge his life to following this path. Cat Stevens comes in at number six. Cat Stevens formally converted to Islam on December 23rd, 1977, and he took the name Yusuf Islam in 1978. Yusuf is an Arabic rendition of the name Joseph, and he stated that he always loved the name Joseph and was particularly drawn to the story of Joseph in the Quran. Although he discontinued his pop career, he was persuaded to perform one last time before what became a 25-year musical hiatus. In the year 1979, he auctioned off all of his guitars for charity and left his musical career to devote himself to educational and philanthropic causes in the Muslim community. Next up at number five, we have Ibn Jazla. Ibn Jazla was a Baghdad-based 11th century Arab physician who wrote an influential regimen treatise that was translated into Latin in 1280 AD by the Sicilian Jewish physician Faraj ben Salem. Ibn Jazla was born to a Christian Nestorian parents in Baghdad and he converted to Islam in 1074. He died in 1100, the year 1100, under the tutelage of Abu Ali ibn al Walid al Maghribi. Number four leads us to Rebecca Salsabil Ibrahim. Rebecca is a retired Latvian weightlifter 
two-time junior world champion and two-time European champion who competed in the 58 kilogram division until 2018 and in the 59 kilogram division starting in 2018 after the International Weightlifting Federation recognized the categories. In spring of 2020, she became engaged to the Qatari discus thrower Moaz Mohammed Ibrahim and on July 26, she announced via her Instagram account that she had converted to Islam. Number three brings us Sinead O'Connor. Born in Ireland on August 12, 1966, Sinead O'Connor converted to Islam in the year 2018, and that's when she took on a new name. She took to Twitter to make her announcement and has made numerous posts since thanking her Muslim brothers and sisters and has even shared a video of her also, you know, reciting the Azan, which is the Muslim call to prayer. Next up at number two, Stephen J. Jackson. Stephen Jesse Jackson is an American former professional basketball player who played for 14 seasons in the NBA. On January 6, 2021, he officially converted to Islam. He also went on to say this, and I quote, Everything I have today is because I get on my knees and pray five times a day. I wouldn't be able to wake up, breathe, and provide for my child if I didn't get on my knees and worship Allah. Allah is in control and every one of us in creation is reliant on Allah in every moment. It is only when we realize this that this inner peace descends upon us and that is what Islam is all about. Salam. Peace. Concluding this episode in at the number one spot, we have Andrew Tate. His full name is Emery Andrew Tate III, and he's an American British internet personality as well as a former professional kickboxer. His African American father, Emery Tate, was a chess international master, and his mother worked as a catering assistant. And he grew up Christian, but he began to show a lot of interest in Islam over the years. Then in October of 2022, Andrew Tate, well, he announced on his Getter account that he had converted to Islam. And there's also a video of Andrew Tate praying at a mosque in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, and that went viral. And of course, now he's become very, very public in his stance that yes, he is now Muslim. And just like that, guys, we made it to the end of another FTD Facts episode. This is a look at 10 people who left Christianity and accepted Islam from way back in history up until more recent days. If you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. It really does help. And if this is your first time here to the channel, subscribe and ring the bell. That way you won't miss any of our daily uploads. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode here on FTD Facts, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one.